I'm here thanks to Elixir Strings and happy to be here to teach you a sort of New Orleans style, well sort of definitely a New Orleans style, uh, piano style really on the guitar. Um, if you think of Dr. John or Professor Longhair, this is that rumba beat that so many New Orleans players use. And um, I've got this mapped out sort of so that there are three ways to play it. The first is just with the bass. The second is adding a little bit of melody on the first string. And the third way is really very difficult, much more difficult, um, and might take a little more work, and it's got a little bit more melody to it. So let's start in, and, and I'll uh, show you how this works. We're going to start with the easy way, and that's just the bass part. So you, you've got to get the rhythm right for it to sound uh, like a, a rumba. So it's like one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. So say, uh, that'll be your E. Notice I've shifted into second position here index finger and my third finger to get this notes. Now we'll do the same thing on the A string, same position, back to E, and there are several things you can do on the, on the B. The B is always the troublemaker, it's always problematic. Those are really the notes you want. You can get them here, you can get them here. Or the easy way is to just stay on the B in the bass. That's kind of uh, the slacker's way out. <laughs> and then back to your back to your E. So you can play just the bass and have somebody else play rhythm guitar. But let's add in the fun part. And here will be the treble part in the key of E. Same thing for the A and for the B. Uh, it depends on which of these uh, little bass patterns you decide to use. But let's let's for now let's play at least up into the B, uh, combining this bass and let's just look really slowly at how these are going to fall together. It's very tricky to put those two together. Might take you a little work. Here comes the A. Now we're at the B. Here's the easy way. Putting the B in the bass and the open B string. Here's a little bit different way to play it. Let's see. slide on that fifth string or so that's our, our whole putting the uh, the uh, nice simple open E string and a little hammer on on the B string and putting that together with the bass that alone makes a really nice arrangement so we've taken it to the second step and now let's look at the third way to play it, which is a wee bit more challenging. So I'm going to take this uh, fingers one and two up to the third fret with a little slant chord like that, to a straight chord at the second fret, to open, an A chord essentially, and a little hammer on, uh, to an E chord. So in slow motion, and with the bass it will sound like Take 
even more work to get that together. But isn't it beautiful if you can get that little uh, right hand of the piano, so to speak. everything a little bit easier so you can add, add some of those uh, first and second string notes to make it a little bit more interesting. So um, not a lot of people playing piano on the guitar so I hope you have fun with this. It's a wonderful little uh, way to play and uh, you'll hear a million New Orleans songs that have this beat and this kind of feel to it so take a listen and uh, Go Google yourself some rumbas and see what I'm talking about here. So thanks to Elixir again, and uh, great to be here, and keep on playing. Mm -hmm. 